COVID, but there's another pandemic here in Portland. The rise in gun violence, and today those who've experienced the painful effects of gun violence personally spoke out at a rally in Pioneer Courthouse Square. Our Liz Birch was there. She was able to talk with people at that rally. Joining us live now in Portland, Liz, I understand community members talked not only about what they've experienced, but even solutions to the gun violence. Jeff and Elizabeth, a lot of really interesting ideas coming out of that rally today. They really talked a lot about the importance of educating the youth in conflict resolution and mediation, even talked about teaching it in schools. I'm the victim of gun violence. I've lost a brother to gun violence. I've lost friends to gun violence. I've lost cousins to gun violence. I've watched people murdered by gun violence. Royal Harris led today's event along with the March Against Murder in May. Black kids matter! With my personal response to the level of violence and the, the historic level of homicide as it started to tick up. According to Portland Police, so far this year, there have been more than 60 homicides. Per police, the highest recorded number of homicides in a year was 70. Sam Howard says his daughter, Shay India Harris, was murdered in Portland last year. She met this guy and uh, she had been dating him for like four, four or five months and she was, uh, they got into an argument and he murdered her on 84th and Flayville, shot her three times. And through this experience, it has showed me a lot about what our community really needs. He tells us Harris would have been going into college this year. I just want my daughter's legacy to be remembered through movements like this, platforms like this, foundations like this, helping other kids, helping other parents and other families to just rise above this. It's difficult for him to see how many more people have been murdered since his daughter in Portland. He thinks teaching kids about conflict resolution early on would help prevent deadly shootings in the future. He says it will take the whole community coming together to stop this violence. I know it's a lot of murdering going on in, in all our, and, and it's not just the black culture, it's all cultures. And Portland police tell us there have been more than 800 shootings just in Portland alone this year. Live in downtown Portland tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.